Hi everyone, welcome to this reading. I have my crystal ball off to the side, so I will be scrying throughout this message. If you're new to my channel, my readings are a little different, and if you're turning, welcome back. You know how we do. If it doesn't resonate with you, if you're forcing the story to fit or arguing with it in any way, just leave it behind for the people who it's meant for. So channel members, uh, there will be a membership video posted this evening, so definitely check out that reading. And if you're interested in channel memberships, the link for that's always in the description box below. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to get started. Now Mercury is Mercurying, so <laughs> I'm going to try to get through this. I haven't been able to speak most of the morning, so we'll see what's going on. Okay, now I do have a yes or no question uh, cards pulled aside, so uh, formulate some yes or no questions, and uh, we'll get some answers for those here in just a bit. Okay, taking a step aside. And allowing spirit to pass through me. Opening up to receive information. Okay. I'm just going to cut this once. Okay. So, um, two storylines coming out immediately. What we have is take a break. Uh, a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. For some of you, this is about your spiritual path and feeling like you might be a little stagnant. I kind of feel that these two storylines are actually merging here into something. Okay, wow. All right. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm going to say for this one, uh, don't forget rules in my comment section uh no negative comments no trauma dumping please i will remove comments like that just because we do have a lot of people that are working on their own healing and it doesn't benefit them if they're constantly ingesting negative energy from comment sections on people's readings so um okay with that in mind uh I, this is going this is going someplace that most of my readings don't normally go so here's here's where this is going um for some of you, you are in a stagnant energy right now spiritually. Uh, ease off that gas pedal just a little bit. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to let things be what they are and to understand that when it's meant to pick back up, it will. You don't have to be hard on yourself. You don't have to beat yourself up. You don't have to berate yourself or feel like you're dropping the ball, right? There's nobody out there monitoring you saying bad job. Like this is this is just the navigation of your soul leading you through the waves and the dips and the ups and downs of your spiritual journey. And sometimes your subconscious needs to integrate and process the information. You're in a period of processing and integrating the information right now. It's not a time for learning. So just take a break. Don't don't stress yourself out about it. For some of you, you've recently taken a break from something or stepped back from something. And that's where I feel that this next card is probably going to come in. Yeah. Protection. Call back, call back your power. Cut cords. Soul retrieval. Um, so for some of you, you have a situation where you need to call back your power. This doesn't necessarily have to be about somebody, but it certainly can be, especially since it's cut the cords, right? Um, some of you, this is about a soul retrieval. Again, integrating some sort of information or calling back aspects of yourself that maybe were leaking out to other people or to past situations, needing to let go of the past and allowing the past to be the past and calling our energy back. Sometimes letting go is a little harder when we have those cords or if we do have a soul fragment, for example, that is still in a place or with a person. Um, if that's the case, you know, definitely seek out someone who practices shamanism or sometimes Reiki healers will do things like that uh, to call back, you know, your energy for you. If you don't know how to do it and you don't want to go to somebody, look up videos on YouTube about soul retrievals. Uh, watch a few of them, try different things, see what works for you. You'll know if something works because you'll experience a lot of emotions typically as that thing integrates and processes the emotions that it has not allowed itself to process. Now, um, for some of you, I do want to say this because this is coming through very heavy and this is the energy that I was feeling, which is why I said that uh, I don't want negative comments in the comment section. Someone here, you are experiencing somebody uh, forcing their will on you magically. And this is a very important thing for you to um, know right now that it's like confirmation for somebody. Uh, so I'm not telling you something you don't know. So if you don't know and you're like, oh my God, they are, this is not your reading, right? This is not for you. This is confirmation for somebody. The reason why I'm saying that is if you look at this, this is, um, for me, this is uh, kind of symbolic of someone's chakra, for example, that is having this black energy sweep over it. Uh, someone here is is trying to do something to influence you right now. Uh, they're influencing this very beautiful blue and purple sort of spiritual energy. As I'm saying that, I'm getting um, certain centers where I'm feeling this. So as confirmation for someone, we have the sacral chakra, we have the solar plexus, and then we have the third eye. So um, be mindful of all those things here. 
as uh, you go forward, if you are aware that this is happening or if you've been suspecting that this is happening, this is confirmation for somebody. Um, the thing about this, though, is that you don't ne you don't need to get paranoid. You don't need to get all worried because whoever I'm reading for and whoever that message is coming for, um, you do actually have a lot of protection here. I'm not seeing just one person protecting themselves. I'm actually seeing like a whole uh, host of people. Uh, and so this may be ancestors, this may be spirit guides, but you do seem to have some sort of protective element taking place. Um, what I'm seeing, however, I'm, I'm seeing that protective stance and then I'm seeing this sort of push back. Um, and I'm not like condoning any action or anything like that. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing in this energy. So this may be something that you've already done. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, and we have pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Uh, so there is unbeknownst to uh, other people, right? Sometimes the reason why subconsciously people want to do this is because they need something from your energy. There's something about your energy that they don't have. And so in order to fill a void in their life, they want to control it, right? Um, or they don't like that you made them feel a certain way, probably because you chose yourself. So just be aware of that. We do have a uh, pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. So for somebody here, you're, you're trying to keep yourself in alignment. And it probably is because you are um, a little stressed out about making sure that you stay on course right um and there's nothing wrong with that we want to make sure that whatever course we had plotted out for ourselves that we don't get taken out of that and i feel that whatever this energy is representing it was something that was trying to take you out of that um Mm -hmm. Okay, um, there's there's um, mm, something about twisted communication. The reason why I'm saying that is because my eyes keep getting drawn to my microphone over to my left uh, that I don't use for this channel, by the way. Um, <laughs> some of you have said that you can't hear my audio and you just got to deal with it because I don't use a microphone for these videos. But I do have a microphone that uh, I will be using for some other videos that I create. Um, it's turned upside down right now. So something about that just said twisted communication. Uh, for some of you, if you were dealing with another person here, whoever this individual is that's sending this energy, it was somebody who um, liked to use words to manipulate situations, right? This is like the kind of energy where somebody thinks they're the smartest person in the room <laughs> and they may not have been able to handle that you you knew what was going on. So um, again, just for some people. Uh, let's see. There's also this energy here that uh, this this while this is happening and we're receiving confirmation, this isn't like the big thing happening for us right now, right? It's just kind of like this this fly happening over here that we're like, oh yeah, we're aware of that. Um, but it is coming through because they do want you to do um, they do want you to be aware. They want it to register in your awareness so that you can take your own measures about it. Now, um, again, coming back to the taking a break, I feel that this is the main energy, and the main energy here is just to say. Um, you know, don't force through things, allow them to be what they are right now. Uh, we have Lemuria creating heaven on earth. It's happening. There seems to be something that we are working towards, uh, that we are putting a lot of energy towards. And again, there's a sense of feeling stagnant or a feeling of, oh, it's not coming or it's not happening. And they want you to know it is happening. Um, just take a break. Mo remove your energy. It's not just removing your energy from this situation if this resonated for you, but also removing your energy from the need to keep forcing it forcing a door open in some particular area of your life where you're trying to bring something in, right? That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm trying to bring something in. I'm like, hey, you know, this now. Um, chill. Just chill a little bit. Let's see. And the reason why is because dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Um, there is a need probably because this is taking place to do something to change your own energy first before you can start tackling this again. I actually feel that it's while you're changing your energy that this is going to happen. Um, the It's happening card. Um, it's almost as though taking our psychic energy and placing it on something else, on ourself, on enjoying life, on, you know, travel, travel a little bit, take some road trips, um, take a day trip, you know, take yourself shopping, whatever it is that you like doing. <laughs> And uh, as you do those things and as you focus more on yourself and enjoying life, uh, this is going to happen. This is going to come. Uh, I do have a lot of this pink and green energy so I, in this card. So I do want to say that for some of you, this may be some sort of emotional healing. For some of you, this may have something to do with the heart space, with love. Um, this may also, um, because this is almost speaking of like, uh, this is reminding me of like a section at a zoo where you see all the same type of animals congregating. And so it's making me think of like calling in soul tribe for some people that if you have been waiting around to like try and uh, manifest friends or manifest soul tribe, that's actually going to happen for you. But it's only going to happen when you get out and start um, enjoying your life a little bit, right? That sends powerful signals to the universe about we're ready to um, connect. 
So don't overlook that step. If you're staying at home and you're not like <laughs> doing anything, you're not going to call those people in, right? So uh, they're telling me to ask the first question. So go ahead and ask your first yes or no question. We're going to get a card and we're going to pull that card in three, two, one. The answer is no. So it's wait, postpone, pause, say no. Okay, so we're going to continue. Okay, again, the heart space. The heart space something is something that's coming up. Uh, we do see this boat here with two people, so this may be about attracting a very good um, partnership of some kind. So it can be romantic. It doesn't have to be. It can be a friend, right? Some some of you I know are like really trying to uh, establish a deep connection with a friend. You really want a friend. And this is really what seems to be the point of all of this, right? Maybe that's, if there is a person who's uh, throwing energy at you at this time, maybe the whole point of that was that you really wanted a friend and this was someone that you had connected with or somebody that you pulled away from because they weren't a good friend um, whatever the case is this seems to be the whole point of this message is either friendship or a, or a romantic partnership and it's all nested inside of this like um hay and violets and um there there's something very mm, i do want to say that what is speaking to me here is this nebula now um this nebula here is actually two nebulas uh if i remember correctly i may be wrong about that particular one i believe it's two that have joined together and um <clears throat> like two stars that collided that created a nebula uh with this sort of pattern so um there is something here about there is a merging of two realities that is about to take place here and it seems interesting. It's nested inside of old growth. Huh, very interesting. Because the wheat, for me, is speaking about harvests. It's like as we as we close out some sort of energy, maybe even a cycle of some kind, that's where this energy um, merges in. I'm also being drawn to, and I've pulled this before because I have this cat picture sitting on the side, I'm being very drawn to these two right here. Um, in this sort of merging together, there's something about illumination. There's something about the joining of the knowledge of one person and the knowledge of another person coming together and creating a new sort of knowledge, a new light. So there's something very partnery about this. It may even turn into some sort of like work relationship at some point, not like at a job, but I mean, um, coming together and formulating a new, um, okay. Hmm. What is that? It's almost like a new modality of something based on knowledge. That cat's sitting on a stack of books. It's all based on knowledge. It's almost like bringing forward some sort of knowledge with the knowledge of another person and creating something new. I love that. I love that. Okay, let's see. Okay, and guardian of the gateway. Um, this is really speaking to me about this here. Uh, the need to remove ourselves from uh, whatever it is that we are doing right now and to go do the stuff that it is that you've been like, hey, you know, I really want to do this, but I never make time for it. Um, really changing our energy, stepping through that gateway. You have the potential right now. This may be the reason why you feel a little stagnant or like things aren't necessarily moving or you're not having maybe the experiences you want to have um, is because you're in a place where it's time. It's time to decide to step into a different way, um, stepping into a different energy because you're creating a different energetic. I know some of you will resonate with this in a different energetic timeline by doing so it's an action that we have to take we have some sort of action that we have to take to purposely change the energy in our life in order to cause um this to happen and i'm going to be honest as you do that it feels like you're moving yourself away from where this can affect you you know this this energy here it's not going to be affecting you anymore if you're stepping over to a different track it's like that energy can't leave that track that's very interesting i don't ever get stuff like that um let's see okay one more they're saying and it's this the mentor there's something here and i it was actually getting that with this um with uh, one of these flames being bigger and a little brighter. And I feel like something about that says that that particular candle um, has acquired a little bit more knowledge. Um, there is something here about uh, a teacher that's coming in. Whatever this energy is that we are connecting to, they know a little bit more than us. Um, we may know more about other things than they do. There's this teacher-student relationship where it's not just one teacher, one student. It's both are teachers, both are students that are coming in. Um, but this, again, we're coming back to this nebula. So it's almost in the explosion of something that had been 
right? Uh, that's the great teacher. You're in a period in and of itself that is teaching you something and that may be teaching you the wisdom of how to let something go and how to be the initial spark that creates something new um when we have nebulas that's the death of a star right and um in a nebula new stars are born how to rebirth ourselves i'm seeing like heavy phoenix imagery as i'm stepping into that energy um for some of you you've gotten really good at that right and uh, but for some of you this is about really learning how to do that how to not just pick yourself up and okay now I'm just plodding along again but how to completely transform yourself with the with the force of a destruction so as something ends using the force of that to propel you into a new energy to create something new for yourself oh wow okay okay last question ask your yes or no question and in three two one we have yes just say yes Okay, so um, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to leave this here. Some of you also might be wondering about the yes or no cards. I actually have multiples of this deck, so I just pulled those at random from the yes or no's. <laughs> it wasn't like <laughs> the only other option, don't worry. Um, let's see. There, there is something that is coming through. I want to leave that there because I feel like that's nice and tidy, but there's something else that's like, mmm, and then... Let's see, what is that? Okay. Oh, okay, they want me to do one more then. Uh, if you have one more question, ask one more question. And I'll pull this around, three, two, one. Um, and that's yes. So for somebody you might have needed without one more question uh, that they wanted to guide you on, yes, proceed, be seen, push through. So, okay, that's it. All right. Um, if this resonated for you, please hit that like button. Feel free to leave me a comment. And until next time.